The folder contains two files. One is SUV software, exe file with SUV label, and uh, second is additional DLL file, which is unnecessary for the user in work, but the software will not proceed without this file. Before loading SUV software file, we have to create a new folder with the X-ray film of the patient we are going to make the formative correction. Let's call this folder by the name of the patient, Smith in our case. We input the X-ray films of patient Smith to this folder. AP and lateral view X-ray films. Then we have to get back to the SUV software folder and to load SUV software exe file. On the screen appears the field of SUV software. Please make full screen. We have to create new document by clicking button new document. Please make full screen. Now in the screen we see the new document. The fields of patient data are useful but not obligatory to be filled. But we will fill these fields. In the field name and age we insert patient's name and his age. In field diagnosis we insert proximal tibia vara. In the field case history we insert the number of patients chart. In the field date we insert the date of calculation. The fields of strut lens and triangle sites are obligatory to be filled. In these fields we have to insert the lenses of struts and lens of uh, triangle sites which we have measured previously at the patient. Let us remind ourselves how we measure the struts and triangles. The strut we measure is the distance between the hook and the ending point of strut lens changing unit. Usually we measure distance by the tape ruler, but we can also use a laser range finder. We measure the sides of triangles between the centers of nuts that fix the joints of strut to the plates or rings by the following way. Side A1 is between joint number 1 and joint number 3 both. Side B1 is between joint number 3 and joint number 5. C1 side is between joints number 5 and joint number 1. A2 is between joint number 2 and joint number 4. B2 is between joint number 4 and joint number 6. And C2 is between joint number 6 and joint number 2. In some cases, you can measure the triangle sides with a ruler, but in most cases it's impossible before, because of the soft tissues of the patient. In these cases, you can use a standard measurement tool you see on the screen or advanced one. But please note that it is prohibited to measure distances between balls that fix the plates to the ring or between one bolt and one nut, as you see on the pictures. 
These two variants of measurement are impossible, they are prohibited. Please measure the distance only between nuts fixing the joints, not between the balls which fix the connections. Let us get back to the software window. All the lengths are measured and inserted in millimeters. In the right part of the screen we see the help how to measure the triangle side. Step by step we insert the lengths of struts and sides of triangles in the software fields. It's rather convenient and rather quick. We use the top clavicle. As soon as all the fields are fulfilled, we have to check the data, we have to check our mistakes. If the data are proper and we have no mistakes, we have to proceed to the next step. But before it, we have to save the file. We call the file by the name of patient and place it in the same folder with the x-ray fields. This procedure and we save it. This procedure is obligatory. If you, uh, you will save a calculation file in different folders with the x-rays you use in it, uh, you will have no possibility in future to open the saved file with calculation. After you have saved the file, press forward button to go to the second step.